Do you know the most efficient ways to optimize your fulfillment process? Well, today I'm going to teach you a couple new ones. My name is Greg Bergeek, Vice President of Sales and Marketing at Pack Machinery. And today we're going to go through some of our poly mailer bagging systems. Now, a lot of you start off shipping a products by hand, right? You take flat poly mailers or wicked mailers, and that's a, a great way of doing things. You know, you take off a label, you apply it, you take off the tape, you close it up. But as you've quickly found, as your business grows, that may not be the optimal process. Poly bagging using automatic baggers and shipping a products in poly mailers using these baggers tends to be a much more efficient way. Just look right here in this video to see what is exactly happening between the two processes. The first great solution we have for you for shipping of products in poly mailers is our Rollbag R785. This machine is a tabletop all electric compact bagger that works perfectly in a workstation. It works with bags up to 12 inches wide. It doesn't use compressed air, so it makes it really easy to set up. It includes a direct thermal label printer applicator, which is great because you can keep using your existing labels, which tend to be more exp or less expensive than uh, printing directly on the bag. The hardware itself is less expensive. Scannability is also higher. The Rollbag R785 has features not found with any other tabletop electric bagger. Seal flattener fingers that stretch the bag tight prior to sealing to minimize wrinkles, as well as an articulating bag support to support the bag uh, when it, the product is being loaded. In this video, you see a uh, scanning of a order via a uh, packing slip or order manifest that goes to your WMS. Your WMS then sends the uh, shipping label information directly to our bagger. Really, we suggest you think of this as one large label printer. Next up, we have our Rollbag R1285 automatic bagger. This is a tabletop pneumatically operated uh, bagging machine. With pneumatic operation, you are able to add a lot more features commonly found on larger floor standing baggers. For instance, you can have light curtains to auto initiate, you can have barcode scan verification, and we also have an extremely reliable uh, thermal printer that prints directly on the bag for those of you that prefer that in your process. The R1285 also works with bags up to 12 inches wide as well as variable length. Now these tabletop baggers work with pre-open bags on a roll, which you guys are probably familiar with, right? They're on a strip, they're opened up, as you can see in this video. Um, they also work, the floor standing baggers work with what we call pre-open bags in a box, right? So these are fan folded in a box. The advantage of that is that you can get more bags, uh, less changeover, essentially more bags per box than you have on a roll. And then third, we have baggers that work with poly tubing. Uh, here you can see the poly tubing working with some of our floor standing baggers. The advantage of poly tubing is that the bagger actually makes the bag on the fly. That's right, no more having one size bag. You can essentially just program in different bag lengths or have your WMS system tell it what bag length to make and, and you can right size the bag for the product that's being packed. I mean, all of us have probably received products in the mail where um, you know the, the bag is oversized, it's much larger than uh, than the item because you have one size bag. Well, with the poly tubing option, you're able to right size that. And did I mention that poly tubing is also less expensive than pre-made bags? It's a pretty cool way of doing it. Here you see our Rollbag R3200 floor standing bagger for shipping of goods in poly mailers. This machine works with bags up to 16 inches wide by different bag lengths. It also works with poly tubing, as I just mentioned to you, for right sizing of the bag. Here it's got a uh, thermal transfer printer that's printing directly on the bag. You can also use direct thermal labels. Another benefit of direct thermal labels is that all of a sudden I don't have to use a white block or a white bag, which tends to get dirty in shipping, right? I can use darker colors, silver, black, green, etc., because I have a white uh, label on the bag. With the R3200, you see here, it's got the uh, easy load bag openers. Those square the bag open to make it easy to, to load product into it, especially with one hand or bigger, bulkier items. At the bottom of the R3200 is an outfeed conveyor that goes from the front to the back. This can also be to the left or right, as you'll see. So you can go to the back, uh, out, out the back of the workstation to uh, further takeaway conveyors or an incline conveyor that then puts the product in, in a Gaylord. Next up, we have the R3200 XL. 
the XL, as you would guess, right, and a little bit larger. Uh, it goes with bags up to 22 inches wide, as well as poly tubing up to that size. Uh, the, the advantage is here, right, you got big bulky items that need to be packed. This machine also has our easy load bag openers for squaring the bag open. Uh, in this video, what you see is poly tubing being used, and uh, the, the customer wanted a, a hang hole or hang handle made on the bag. They wanted to mimic the retail uh, experience when somebody hands you a shopping bag, well, when it gets to their doorstep, either the, the person delivering it or, well, not so much in COVID times, right? But uh, you, you pick the bag up and you use the, uh, the handle to pick it up. The R3200 XL shown in this video has a outfeed conveyor that goes to the left or right or right to left for uh, uh, easy optimization of your uh, entire workstation process flow, which is important, right? So this, these machines have to fit in somewhere, usually within existing workstations because you're not building these new uh, to go from hand pack to automatic bagging. So what I'm showing you here is really uh, what I call latest and greatest technology. This is our VersaQuad 4400. Um, this machine is actually right sizing bags to width and length, right? So uh, the person or an in-feed conveyor will place items onto the conveyor and we have a 3D scanning system to measure, to dimensionalize the actual product that's being packed so you can optimize bag size perfectly. Uh, on the inbound, you can have a barcode scanner set up if it's on operator scanning it. That goes to an integrated uh, label printer applicator as you can see in the video. And if you look closely, those two side sealers, they are going in and out and up and down in function of the, uh, the size of the bag. And, and because we're doing it at this part of the process, it makes for an extremely compact packaging system compared to some other uh, horizontal type of inline uh, bagging machines out there. It's truly neat and we'd love to talk to you about this one for sure. Okay, so we've talked to you about, you know, a lot of these applications where people are packing by hand and that's great and you can hire labor and do that and make them more efficient. But you know what? The robots are coming. Let me tell you, they are coming and they are gonna help you further automate your packaging process. What you see here is a robot essentially uh, picking items out of a bin without any type of training, random items out of a bin. It picks them up, it can scan them to a barcode, it can detect where the barcode is on the bag or on the product, put that in front of a scanner and then drop it in a bag, all without human intervention. I mean, this technology is, uh, is advancing rapidly. I know some of you probably checked it out a couple years ago and, and the changes are extremely, uh, uh, dramatic what's been done. Uh, we're, we're pretty excited and especially excited because pretty much all of our baggers are future-proofed for further robotic integration. So uh, you, you get that benefit there. So, uh, you know, we talked about poly bagging uh, products and poly mailers for shipping. Uh, these baggers also really work great for inbound products, right? You've received bulk goods. You probably have to send them to a fulfillment center. It's got to have a barcode and SKU on it. Uh, th these machines can work really well that, you know, you can use clear bags, it will print and apply a label directly on the bag. Additionally, we have other systems that we didn't go through, some of our uh, automatic side sealers that also work great for uh, inbound as well as outbound poly bagging. Here you see some apparel being packed, right, inbound apparel, you got to you put it in clear film with a suffocation warning and a, a barcode, uh, as well as applications for uh, spill containment of liquids. They can work well. Some people come to us, they look for a bagger, but with pack machinery, we have such a broad range that we're able to steer them truly towards the optimal solution. Now, we've talked a lot about equipment and, and that's great, but obviously there's the materials that go with it. Uh, pack machinery makes all the materials for uh, our systems. And the reason we do that is, uh, uh, you know, we wanna make sure that everything works hand in hand together and that you maximize your uptime and everything works concretely. So we, we make all the materials for our baggers. Uh, you know, a lot of this is polyethylene, right? 100% recyclable polyethylene, either uh, a blend usually of, let's say, low density, linear low density, and high density. Uh, and, and we can do different blends and things like that in function of what your application requires. And, and most interestingly, and in, in what you see in, in the bagging video, is our new wrestling material, right? So everybody cares about the environment and doing things that are environmentally conscious and things like that. Our wrestling blend is made with over 50% recycled content. Yes, right now it's over half recycled content. We're uh, working to increase that. 
and actually 20% of the bag is made with post-consumer recycled content. So these are products that consumers have taken, they've recycled, think about like your milk jugs and other high density plastic containers, and, and they've recycled it and we've been able to take that uh, scrap, uh, turn it into resins and use that into pretty high strength bags that in many cases you can even um, uh, down gauge, uh, source reduce as, as we like to call it, the, the thickness, right? So you're not even using as much material. So with the right sizing, with the uh, wrestling blend, with the uh, down gauging, you, you truly get a uh, environmentally conscious packaging, uh, packaging solutions. So, so this was an overview of our uh, poly bagging systems for, for e-commerce fulfillment. And now we look forward to uh, taking some of your questions. Thank you.